नमस्कार वेलकम टू वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन ऑफ टुडे द 19th सितंबर 2024 आई एम डॉक्टर आनंद कुमार दास ए साइंटिस्ट फ्रॉम नेशनल वेदर फोरकास्टिंग सेंटर इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द सिग्निफिकेंट वेदर ऑफ द लास्ट वीक व्हिच कॉज्ड वेदर ऑल ओवर द कंट्री एंड देन वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द अपकमिंग वेदर इन द फोर्थकमिंग टू वीक्स so basically uh, in the last week there are two uh, main uh, weather system of the monsoon and first one was the depression actually which formed over the land actually it was the remnant of the deep depression which actually came from uh, no, bay of bengal and uh, weakened into elmart low pressure area uh, 10th but again reintensified on 11th and gradually it went nearly northward up to uh, the, our uh, southwest uh, up and caused the weather all over northwest india so this is the first system 11 to 13 september we can see the path or track of the system and then second one which is the prominent one here where we can see that system uh, came uh, actually it became uh, depression over this northeast uh, bay of bengal on 13th actually uh, before that it became uh, low pressure area on uh, 11th and then it gradually uh, went west northwest ward but this system actually shown little uh, uh, uncommon features and uh, it uh, looped over the gangetic west bengal area uh, for some time and then slowly very slowly it mo uh, progressed west northwest ward over this region gangetic west bengal and jharkhand region then it uh, rather uh, uh, usual way it went west northwest ward and reached up to uh, the east and northeast madhya pradesh and uh, weakened into a wellmark low pressure area after uh, 17th so 18th uh, morning it became wellmark low pressure area so this is the two uh, so it it in between became deep depression so this was the very intense system and from 13th to 18th so it progressed west northwest one nearly but it was slow over here and produced lot of rain over this region so these are the two main weather system and uh, accordingly the uh, uh, the whole, all rain activity was confined over uh, the central or northern plains region so that the what was the rainfall scenario we can see in the next this plot here we can see this is the rainfall dots where in different rainfall thresholds but if we can see the higher rainfall thresholds are, are seen over this region so uh, here over uh, this region actually received rain due to two systems and here this region actually received lot of heavy extremely heavy rainfall uh, due to the uh, looping of the deep depression over this region and if we see the very heavy rainfall and above how many days different regions uh, what are the number then uh, if we see that here con three days we can see that it was congested uh, it was giving very heavy rainfall and this also this uh, nearby region like north odisha basically the north odisha region and then jharkhand and south chatisgarh uh, and uh, north chatisgarh and then mp and associated rainfall also some part of uh, south up and uh, southwest up uh, received and this the first this this region got actually due to first or 11 to 13 and again uh, due to second dip, uh, depression uh, when it went to up to this region it uh, received rainfall so here uh, this is the rainfall scenario and due to that what was the scenario for the week Uh, uh distribution uh, subdivision wise then we can see that this whole region we can see blue light blue or deep blue so that means it is either excess or large excess so but uh, only uh, this part here we can see that as the rainfall was confined over this region uh, the peninsular region even over the uh, coastal region we can see the rainfall is very less in northeast india and other part of the country so here if we can see that uh, east and northeast india 
here actually this is fast six percent the northwest india actually this part here we can see here the blue and deep blue it is plus 72 percent and central india it was minus 16 it was because this part was not receiving so much of rain that but south peninsular india india is minus 86 percent for this week but overall as it received lot of rain over this region uh, so we can see country as a whole for the whole season if we see this is the scenario here uh, mostly all those areas are green blue light blue or deep blue that means normal excess or uh, uh, large excess but uh, few area only you can see the red that is Jammu and Kashmir and Punjab and here uh, Bihar and uh, east northeast region so little less rainfall we can see over uh, east northeast area so that is reflected here minus 14 percent but other all are plus 7 percent northwest India then central India plus 18 percent and then peninsula India plus 17 percent overall it is plus 7 percent all over the country so uh, this is the scenario of the uh, past week and now we'll be going towards the forecast of the next two week so if we see the uh, extended forecast system what is the forecast these are the actual forecast of the rainfall it is telling for week one and week two and this is the anomaly of rainfall forecast for the week one and week two here it is very much uh, clear that from uh, the picture that week one actually country is, uh, uh, is likely to receive less uh, rainfall activity and here we can see the anomaly field is uh, clearly showing yellow red patches over the country so here only if we see that only this part uh, is receiving rain so therefore uh, during this week uh, heavy rainfall will be there because monsoon is still there so it will be over east madhya pradesh and chhattisgarh region on 23rd 25th and then madhya pradesh little madhya pradesh and vidarbha region 24th 25th september and if we see also that andaman region there is setting and for that andaman nicobar uh, islands will be receiving 1920th odisha also uh, is green patch is there so Odisha will be receiving 22nd, 23rd and then Northeast also having some green patches here. So Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura 22nd to 25th and Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya 23rd to 25th September. But overall if we see the below normal uh, rainfall activity uh, all over the all homogeneous regions uh, during this uh, upcoming week. But and another thing we can see that this part it is white so and here also so it is uh, conditions are uh, that that is the highlight that conditions are now favorable uh, for the withdrawal of southwest monsoon from some parts of northwest india around 23rd september so 23rd september onwards we can expect that uh, grad that uh, uh, withdrawal of southwest monsoon will start then if we see the week two picture week two is for uh, rainfall wise activities more we can see that all over the country it is covered by green and then here if we anomaly if we see these blue patches are there so therefore rainfall activity will be more in second week so but heavy rainfall activity will be mostly over west coast over west coast region then maharashtra region and then telangana region uh, also it will be in there and then we, if we see above all this normal to above normal rainfall will be most parts of northwest india then uh, certainly central also india and peninsular in, uh, peninsular india also will be uh, getting good rainfall but if we consider the east and northeast uh, it will be uh, near normal or maybe uh, near normal over east and northeast and uh, certainly once uh, this withdrawal situation uh, actually um, happened in the week one then week two it will be little progress so some more parts of northwest india the uh, withdrawal will take place and if we see the uh, cyclogenesis scenario uh, if there will be any depression or such that but uh, there is a very less probability here you can see in the first week uh, second week it is some little probability we can see that here so but 
uh, if we uh, consider the first week or second week this uh, there is a low probability here it is a low probability uh, for uh, cyclogenesis over uh, Arabian Sea as well as Bay of Bengal during this forecast period but there will be upper, uh, upper cycle circulation as uh, model forecast suggests that uh, it will be on 21st over this region and it will gradually go uh, northwest and it will uh, be under the influence of that cycle circulation one low pressure area uh, may form over uh, northwest and adjoining central India and it will gradually then move northwest over, over the land and it may cross <coughs> thereafter the Odisha or uh, North Andhra Pradesh coast. So this will be the cyclone about the system and if you see the temperature scenario that we want maximum temperature is above normal so we can see here this uh, anomaly field uh, and week one and actual value actually most parts of the country it will be above normal and but here hot and humid weather we are expecting over Tamil Nadu Puducherry Karaikal region on 19th and 20th September and if we see the T minimum temperature it will be above normal in the most parts of the northwest India central India and Karnataka and uh, here we, we can see these colors and second week if we see again it is above normal uh, here this red <coughs> along the uh, western Himalayan region and here Bihar and uh, East UP region and northeastern region we can see that red patches so there it will be above normal and in if we see the second week <coughs> the minimum temperature here over this whole region is uh, above normal so otherwise rest parts here we can see that below normal here also uh, these are the below normal temperature of maximum temperature so this is the temperature scenario of the uh, next weeks and uh, this is uh, about the uh, weather of the first uh, next weeks but if you want to know more about the weather and certainly about the warning the so you visit our websites you uh, access our uh, mobile apps and uh, certainly social media sites are there you, uh, you can follow uh, and uh, subscribe our uh, ch channels uh, so that uh, you can be updated with the latest weather information and be prepared if there is any warning and take actions if it is suggested by our uh, weather offices or regional offices or head offices. Thank you very much.